Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow. Uh, today is November 1st, and I am opening my box uh, for um, Sacred Space Crate for the month of November 2019. Um, this is a newer box to me. This is going to be my second one, uh, but I really, really uh, like it quite a lot. And um, I will leave the information in the description below with the link so that you guys can check it out. Um, I'm not going to be doing a vlog challenge for at least one month. Um, but I'm also going to do my best because there's going to be a little delay with my boxes this month. Um, I'm maybe one or two and then kind of a delay and then I will catch up but more on that later. So I've already loosened this up. It says fragile. It's just a simple white box for discretion. The inside's got a pretty little thing here. We've got some Book of Shadows. Love it, love it, love it. I always read that last. I love this. This is so cool. And it basically tells you where the moon is. Um, Central Standard Time. Um, I'm Pacific, so you would have to, I think, it's two ahead, so I would take two off. And uh, I love this. I personally write this down on my work calendar and in my Book of Shadows. Um, because I like to follow the moon. I love the art. Very, very, very pretty. It's got, give me a little Harry Potter vibe with all the owls. <laughs> um, and then on the back, it has information about the moon, moon, the moon in each of the zodiac signs. So, love that. Book of Shadows. I don't know. I'm going to open this last. I don't want to be surprised. I, I do want to be surprised. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, wow. And I'm guessing this is a nib. So cute. So, so cool. Wow. I absolutely love it. I love it. I'm going to put it right here. Very gently. Um, these are for me. So, um, this is not part of the box for November. This is something for my hand <laughs> from the creator. So kind, so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Honestly, this Arnica Sav is the whole reason that I um, subscribed to this box because I saw it in the September box. Mm. And I wanted it a lot because Arnica is excellent for bruises, for um, sprains, and I'm still recovering. I overdid it this weekend. Oh, joint relief. Great. Oh, wow. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ouch. I cannot open it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, it smells good too. Wow. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's get it together. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's so beautiful. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. In case you guys don't know, uh, is Dia de Muertos. I mean, so, it depends on how you celebrate. So some people do certain types of dead on the first, and certain other types on the second. Um, some people do All Saints Day. Some people do um, Samhain on the first or the second. It really just depends on on you. Um, I personally celebrate the I celebrate three days. I celebrate Halloween. Um, you may have feelings about how Halloween is not Samhain, how Halloween is not the secular. I don't care what your feelings are. Those are your feelings. You do what you want. In my house, we celebrate Halloween, um, and that's when the festivities start for for the theme of what I consider the theme of this Sabbath, which is the final harvest, and um, you know, the thinning of the veil. So ancestral work, um, divination work, um, gratitude for, you know, sacrifices. Because for the blood harvest, something has to die for you to live. So 
that's what day it is so I'm super excited for all of this because I do it reminds me of the work that I want to do with the book of shadows which is to to pass something on and um, oh my god this smells delicious this incense sorry for going off on a tangent but it has to fit with it because I want to leave something like this behind I want my book of shadows to be on somebody's ofrenda someday this is beautiful little page marker little owl for wisdom love that and that's my soapbox go to Kala ooh Centilla As Asiatica I um, actually am familiar with this because they use it in a lot of Korean skincare for it's like a Sika bomb and it's supposed to be good for like inflammation over this a little smidge so that you can see these items comfrey oh you are so smart melissa i love comfrey it's really good healing salve i was gonna buy some at the market last week and i was like oh, i'm gonna wait and here it is oh wonderful i love this kind of stuff because this is the kind of magic that i love practical healing um, magic that i imagine that our ancestors did. Our wise women. Ooh, oh my god. So cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Spell ink, dragon's blood, and protection. I might have regrets about this. As a matter of fact, I'm really awkward and I have a weak grip, so I probably shouldn't do this but I'm already invested oh yeah that's ink <laughs> mm, I don't smell anything oh very faint but it smells like pen ink cool 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 so absolutely cool I'm so excited wow I love it okay I'm gonna put the little bags to the side Everything is packaged so nicely, and I love that I get it so prompt in the month. Very cool, very exciting. What do we got here? Ooh, looks like a quartz cluster. I hope I'm showing you guys things pretty well. <laughs> got some kind of liquid here miracle hair growth oil cool cool rosemary ginger lavender sage cayenne jamaican black castor oil with hemp jojoba and sunflower yeah that'll help your hair grow full show Ooh. wow Very cool. I might even, I'll look it up to make sure it's safe, but um, if you're like a kid from the 80s or 90s like me, you used to have the VO5, and I wonder if you could heat this um, and put it on your hair and, or your scalp, massage it in, like maybe put it like a, like a hot heat on your head, like a, I have a hair mask, a hair cap that puts heat on your head. Ooh, clarity. Ooh, it smells good too. Oh my damn dogs are says barking and barking. It's the other word though, so they probably see things. And I've seen this the whole time, but I've been waiting for a Vesper Love. This is such a beautiful book. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Look at you. Let me open it. 
I absolutely love these kind of things. I love them. Oh my god, beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, wow. And it seems like really thick paper. I probably would be even able to put some heavier marker or ink. Maybe a very light watercolor, I'm not sure. But wow, that is so cool and so beautiful. I love it. I When I saw the theme, I was like, oh my god, yes. Yes. So beautiful. I'm going to line these things up so you can kind of look at them while I am um, reading the insert to you guys. And I'm kind of keeping it to the things specifically for this box. So, oh, I didn't open this. Let's see what this is. Oh, man. <laughs> there we go. I just cut something and I think I dulled it. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Book of Shadows Blessing. Very cool. Ooh, Witch's Alphabet. Very cool. Futhark Runes. Ooh, that's good to know. Um, I'm burning a candle. And I've gotten this one in the box before. Hmm, very cool. Sigil. Wow, very cool. Book of Shadows Blessings. That's back to the beginning. Wow, very, very cool. I love that. I'm going to put that kind of like up here. And of course we have this beautiful thing, so that's also part of it. I love it. All right, Book of Shadows. As a practicing witch, I am blessed to have had my ancestors work past... Oh, my ancestors work passed down generation to generation for many years. Wow, that's so cool. I hope that for my descendants. Every witch's book is so personal that when you pass it on, you're passing on your life's work. Oh, you're speaking my language. Making it one, if not the most important object you will work on in this lifetime in order to be an ancestral witch to the younger and future generations of your bloodline slash children. I am very excited to include magical objects in this month's box that can be passed down from you to your future generations. Mm, I love it. Book of Shadows. This custom-made Book of Shadows was sewn together so the book lies flat while writing in it. Cool. The lapis lazuli stone on the cover is to assist you in connecting to your ancestors for guidance and for assisting you in the afterlife and connecting for the ones who use your book to the ones using your book. I love the hand sewn pages because they can always be re-sewn together as the book ages. It's so important to spend time practicing the spells that you include in your book. I leave out any spells that give no real results and make it very clear the consequences to using some of the spells in my book. Continue to put your guidance and energy into this book so that it will always hold a part of you in it long after you have passed on. Wow, that is so perfect. I love it. I love it so much. It's exactly what I want. Book of Shadows pages. I included four pages to help start your Book of Shadows if you wish to use them. I have left them color free so that you can decorate color them to fit your own personality. You can copy these pages by writing them out yourself or just paste them into your book. Your actual spells and rituals need to be handwritten, but we will get to that later. The artwork on these pages are designed by Schmoozy. Book of Shadows Blessing. This is a modern day standard blessing spell for protecting your book slash work. Witch's Alphabet page. The Witch's Alphabet has been used for thousands of years, but many occult historians date the work to the 14th century. It has, it's been attributed to Onarius of Thebes, a middle-aged figure shrouded in so much mystery that some consider his existence to be a myth. Others believe the Theban alphabet dates back much further to before the 11th century, originating as an alchemical cipher with an Avestan influence. Avestan is oldest preserved Indo-Aryan uh, Indo language and it's closely related to Vedic Sanskrit. 
yet the latter theory is also undocumented and unproven. It has been used by witches, pagans, and practitioners of Wicca as a way to conceal magical writings or spell work, but there is no firm date on when it was adopted. Many points to the fact many point to the fact that Wicca is a relatively new discipline as a discounting factor. However, it is based on thousands of years of tradition and should be given the proper respect. There are all are accounts of many old grim I know it says grimoires, but I always say grimoires. Um, written in the witch's alphabet. The letters can also be carved into candles or amulets on pieces of sacred wood or written in stones. Futhark, Futhark runes page. Runes are the first known system of writing. They are used and developed by Germanic people and function as much more than just letters. Each rune was carved into a picture or symbol that represents a powerful force. When you write these runes, you are working with forces to bring about different outcomes, similar to how we witches use spells and incantations to manifest different results. Each rune has a different magical significance and visual and audio form that it represents. Each rune is called a futharx, which is named after the first six runes, Fe, Uris, Duris, Saz, and Zeus, Radho, and Kunim. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. When you use runes, you are invoking powerful magic and understating. Oh, and understanding which rune to use is important in your spell work. You can use runes as a divination tool and to use as symbols with full spell casting and manifestation. Sigil page. I have included this page because it's the easiest way to create sigils. Sigils are great for beginning cell work because it's the easiest form of cell work. When working with a sigil, the power comes from the act of creating the symbol itself. The process of taking an intention and transforming it into a magical symbol encodes the meaning of that symbol and its magical potential into your subconscious. The point of doing this is to be able to bypass the doubts, restrictive beliefs, and self-consciousness of the conscious mind and tap directly into the power of the subconscious where your power isn't restricted by those limitations. This is powerful stuff. If you have any questions regarding how to use this page, then feel free to email me. Note, to really use sigil magic, you must make your own sigils. There's no way around it. Using someone else's sigil isn't sigil magic. It's just some intention setting, which is with a pretty symbol. Owl Bookmarker. This bookmarker was designed and custom made with antiquated metal and the face of the Bird of Wisdom. In Native American magic, the owl represents knowledge and protection. Animal magic is very important in our practice, so an owl protection, protecting our writings and enhancing our knowledge is a powerful object to pass down with your Book of Shadows. Clarity Candle. This soy blend candle was, spell, was spellcrafted with the intention of giving clarity to the one who burns it. It was spellcrafted on the October full moon using peppermint, rosemary, and quartz crystals, which promotes enhanced mental focus. Burn this candle anytime you need to clear your mind and see things clearly. Goto, go to cola herb. Go to cola is prized as a brain tonic, and the herb is incredible at improving cognitive function. Go to cola is an excellent herb to aid meditation as it clears the mind and enhances the ability to concentrate. This is a great herb to use while studying or taking a test. Sim <laughs> Simply rub your between your palms during a test, and you will start to think clearer. It is a great elixir of life and can be used for longevity, virility, and fertility. It's said to enhance sexual stamina and may be used in tantric practices and sex magic. I make a tonic, oh my lord. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I make a tonic with gota cola and rosemary to help connect the heart and mind, but it can be used in many ways. Please check with your doctor and or pharmacist before consuming any herbs, as they may counteract with your medication or health issues. Spell ink. This spell was crafted on the full moon using a combination of dragon's blood resin and an ink spelled for protection. Use this magical ink when writing your spells, rituals, and manifestations. It is very important to write your spells with full intention so that you're, you put your energy and magic into the spell. The bottle is so beautiful that you can proudly refill and pass down to future generations. Feather Quill Pen. These beautiful quill pens were created with feathers and an ornate metal base. In native cultures, birds are highly revered because of their closeness to grandfather creator in the heavens. The feather possesses the spirit qualities of the bird to be the breath of life as well as connecting us to the heavens above and the mother earth below. I ordered these feathers from a cruel free feather dealer so I could not get an abundance of any one particular feather. Your feather is either turkey, owl, guinea, peacock, or pheasant. I don't know. It looks like turkey to me. But I'm not sure. It's definitely not peacock. It's not peacock. Um, I don't think it's owl either. It might be. But it looks like turkey to me. And I have seven turkeys. That doesn't mean I'm an expert. But it, <laughs> it looks like turkey to me. If you are unsure... 
of which bird's feather you received the free feed will email me a picture of your quill and I will let you know. Quartz crystal cluster stone. Quartz crystal is the most powerful stone for mental focus and clarity. Each point carries its own magical energy, so when many points are combined, it makes for a very powerful stone to use in your magical practice, as it also enhances any spell. There is no more perfect stone than a quartz crystal to keep close to your book of shadows as you are recording your spells. These stones were charged on the October full moon. Mir Miracle hair growth oil. This is a formula that will stimulate hair growth. Massage it to scalp and let it sit on scalp for an hour or so so you have the time be before washing hair. Make sure to wash your hair after use since it has stimulate herbs like cayenne. It is an infused oil of cayenne, ginger root, rosemary, lavender shade, amla powder, black castor oil, and sunflower oil. Keep out of eyes and do a test patch before applying to make sure you don't have a reaction. Comfrey Healing Sal. Comfrey has been used topically for 2,000 years to treat muscle sprains, bone fractures, joints, burns, and joint inflammation. The roots of the leaves of the comfrey plant contain chemical substances called allantoin and rosmarinic acid. Allantoin boosts the growth of new skin cells, while rosmarinic acid helps to relieve pain and inflammation. While comfrey is well known for its health benefits, it also poses some risks. It contains compounds that can harm your liver. It may also be carcinogenic. As a result, many countries have banned the sale of oral comfrey preparations. Many experts also advise against using topical comfrey on open wounds, but comfrey may be acceptable for short-term use on your skin and closed wounds. You can purchase topical comfrey preparations from many health stores. Talk to your doctor before using them to learn more about the potential benefits and risk. Myrrh and Zen 6. Myrrh is thought to unite heaven and earth by awakening your awareness of the higher self. In Kundalini, it is used to strengthen the bond between the crown and base chakras. It also helps you stay present and not worry about the future. Myrrh can, be, can also be used in consecrating your magical items in this box. November moon in the zodiac calendar. This is a monthly, monthly calendar that will be included in every month's bath. Many of us form a lot of our practices around the cycles of the moon. We do this because the moon controls a lot of energy on earth and within our bodies. It is very important to understand in understanding what energies we are surrounded with so we can use this energy accordingly. The artwork of this month's calendar was designed by Schmoozy. Thank you for subscribing and allowing me to share my family's magic with you. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, Melissa. This box is banging. I absolutely love it. I love everything. I love all the intent. Hit it out of the park for me. Um, I, I hope you guys like this box. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. I can't believe it, but I'm only 25 away from an 800 subscriber giveaway. I have a special giveaway planned um, coming up soon, and I will talk about that um, soon as well. But this video is kind of long, so I'm just going to let it go for right now. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Um, check out this box. It is amazing. And I will see you soon.